Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am going to work on my little winter ta Winter's Tales journal again today. First, let's say hi and hugs to Catherine with a C, Carol, Lorraine, and Christy. Thank you for your nice comments. Thank you for watching my videos, hanging out and crafting with me. Oh my gosh, I have a bit of a mess here yet. Um, from Scrappy Saturday. I have I have stuff. <laughs> so, oh, let me show you. I, I did a whole bunch. Not that. Not that. That's not what I wanted to grab. These. I, I did a whole bunch more of the little snippets with the little pieces that I had. So, I need to cut those apart and get those all, um, you know, embellished and stuff. That that's for another day. That's for another day. I've been excited to get back to, to this journal. So what I've done um, is I went ahead and did a little sewing. I sewed these, these papers are from the Blue Wash Digital from Mixed Media Minnesota. And um, so I sewed two pieces together so that I wouldn't have a um, wouldn't have a blank side and then um, and then I did this page as well this will have a blank side so we'll have to make something to go there which is a-okay so I'll show you how I made that and then these two pages are just two pages so again we'll have we'll have blank spots to fill so maybe let me just show you how I made this one um, I'll just use I'll just grab up here a couple of pieces of um, coffee dyed paper just to show you. Um, I've done this before, but maybe you missed that video or something. So, um, so two pieces of paper. It's two pieces of paper. One for one for kind of the base, and then one for the pocket. And so, I the pocket I just folded down. I kind of went as close to the middle as I could and you know kind of made sure that they were straight uh, like so and it leaves a little bit of something there but that's fine and maybe you can fold it so it doesn't but you know you know me so um so then it's going to go like this right well um what I did then is I glued just right up to the edge here on the two flaps. I didn't go all the way down. I just went partially down to just glue that down so that when things are going in and out of the pockets, you don't have any, um, you know, any issues with it catching or anything. Okay, so did that. Then let's get this one over here for the example kind of. Then I put, took it to the sewing machine and I sewed here and here with a decorative a decorative stitch there. Then once that was done, I took this out of the sewing machine, got these put together. So picture this sewn already. And then um, I just started right here and did a little back and forth and then I sewed all around the edges. And that's it. Um, I didn't sew down the middle just because I didn't want to weaken it, and it will be it will be sewn in, so it really doesn't need to be. So that's how I did that. So I thought first we'd figure out where these are going to go in here because I think that that will be the last of our pages to put in. So let's see. Ooh, that might be that might be nice right there. So, because I kind of want to spread these through the book a little bit. Get your bone folder, Gail, so you're not wrecking your hands. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I've had quite a day today. I'm excited to tell you about it, but I'll get to that one. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Okay. So this goes here, like so. Ooh, that's pretty together, I think. Or would it be more striking, like against the coffee pie? 
Not here, obviously. Oh, I think I do. I like it against the coffee deck. Okay. I'm allowed to change my mind until it's sewn in. <laughs> then, then it's an issue. Oh, but then that will be with that. Okay, we're going with it. That's just what that's telling me. It's telling me it wants to be here. So that's where we're going to put that one. Um, I thought maybe this one we would put... Ooh, that could go there. That's good, because then we can we can put something on that page. Okay, and then these two are just gonna be regular pages. They're just gonna be folded and just regular pages not sewn together. Oh, yep, it has writing on it. I was looking to make sure I got it right side up. Okay, so I'd like to kind of split the difference with these these two. So I can put this one here and then maybe this one here. Okay, we have our signature. That is so happy. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to do was with the one with the pocket, this one, it's got something there, but um, I was wondering about, especially this side, decorating that a little bit. With what, I don't know, or how, I don't know. But I was thinking of doing that. I was also thinking of making some ephemera from, you know, from the Winter Tales scrapbook paper. You know, obviously this, I don't know, this, that to work with. I'm just going to have a hard time cutting this up, I can tell you that right now. And it's a little hard because you don't like, you don't want like part of, part of these people. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if I make a pocket, you know, it's going to, it's going to be weird. Hmm. This one will be easier to do something with. Let's pull it out. Let's let's just play a little bit and see what see where we get to. Okay. What I'm kind of I what I want to do is do some sort of um, tall things that will cover up the white of these pages. So that's my thought. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go five inches with this, but what I wanna do is do two and a half out from this middle. So, maybe I mark it. That's what I do. <laughs> Took me a little too long to come up with that. I'm a little worried about myself. Um, so, here, here's, here's what happened today. So, I did my video this morning. And um, filming went great. That was all good. Okay, so then I can just do five and we're good. Um, filming went great. Uh, you know, I've got the new phone. So, did that. It would not, would not upload to my computer. So I went upstairs and I tried it on Mike's computer. Would not upload. So then I have a MacBook Pro, um, laptop I thought okay well I'll try it on that nope wasn't happening it just was not going to load so <laughs> I called the phone store and I know every every video you've been hearing about the phone store so I called the phone store 
And the guy said, well, there's no way I can help you over the phone. So you're going to have to come in. Well, as some of you know from, <laughs> from yesterday, I was there five hours and there was no way I wanted to go back to the phone store. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, okay. So Mike then finally said, why don't you call Mikey, our son? Why don't you call Mikey? And I was like, okay, you know, and he's the one that does my website and all of that. So I call my son literally in three minutes. He had ex explained to me, walked me through what I needed to do and it it was done and <laughs> and I'm all good now and I'm uploading as normal I'm uploading my videos as normal and I'm just like I told my son if you ever need a job you could be a, a technician or whatever they call them at um <laughs> at uh the phone store See, I wanted this still at the bottom, but I'm going to make like just a little double pockety thing. But this needs to be the last one. So I might cut a bit off of that, much as I hate to, because it's so pretty. But maybe, maybe right there. Part of the thing is, is I don't want to um, cover all of this either. So, so yeah, that was... That was my morning. I'm just like, oh, seriously, this phone situation is going to drive me crazy. Oh, I kind of like that hope and happiness. Let's do that. Okay, I'm once again kind of changing, changing my plan here. So, yeah. But I did so good, you guys. I didn't get frustrated. Usually when I have technical issues, it makes me really frustrated. I will say I was pretty panicked, though, because I felt like, um, what am I going to do? If I, can't, if I can't upload a video, what am I going to do? So I was looking into doing it from my phone, which I don't like to do because then it ties up my phone. Because like right now, that video is uploading on the computer and I'm filming on my phone, you know. I realize all first world problems, but seriously, it, it, it can make a girl scared. I was like, uh, what am I going to do? I, I will be without be without my peeps. I can't, I can't craft without you. Oh, because it feels weird. Okay, so I'm going to put that there and that there. Okay, we got there. We got there in the end. Oh, I wanted to, and I forgot. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, distress that but I'm going to open a new thing of distress ink there comes a point you know you you re-ink you re-ink and you re-ink and then I've been spraying water on it this sucker is just too dried out it's going in the garbage and I'm starting a new one that's just what's got to happen <laughs> oh isn't it pretty so so yeah that was kind of scary this and so now I'm kind of running late. I said to Mike, I'm not going to be. Oh, yeah, boy, it makes new. It, new makes a difference, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I said I'm not going to be upstairs at my usual time because I wanted to do two videos today. Again, still trying to get her head for Christmas. And so, oh, but what was fun is when I was talking with my son is that um I said are you guys I I wasn't sure if they were going to the in-laws for Christmas or if they were just staying home well they're just staying home I said well could we FaceTime when the kids open their presents from us 
And he goes, oh, yeah, that would be good. I said, okie dokie. So I'm excited about that because I'm kind of excited about their presents. I won't tell you what they are. I'll tell you after Christmas because sometimes, once in a blue moon, they, they watch their grandma's YouTube hate to cover up that little bird. He's so cute, but oh well. I was sad, but I'm over it. <laughs> okay, I need a drink of water, guys, after that big story. Mm. Thank you. Sometimes there's just nothing better. Okay, so that's the pocket. It's one of the ones, you know, that I made... Um, as my make and take last year at Creativation. But I'm thinking I might like to sew around that. So let's do that. Just kind of trying to get... I told you I'm going to have to make everything for this journal. I have nothing. Now I hope that doesn't goober up my focus. It doesn't look like it in my viewfinder, but... I hope it doesn't. Okay. I'm just going to do a straight stitch, I think. And just, instead of gluing, I'm just going to sew. <clears throat> it's been a sewing kind of day. I've gotten, been. I think I need to, um, clean my sewing machine again. It's sounding a little rough. not happy. There we go. We got through it. We got through it. can't imagine why it's not happy. It's one thickness of paper. And then it's three. All right, little sewing machine. I'll let you rest for a while, maybe. Because you're, you're a little cranky. Okay. Oh, goodness. All righty, then. So, we did that. I don't know what's going to go in it, but I'm not worried about that right at the moment. Um, but I think I might like to do something right there. Uh to get all my stuff back over here. I moved it for Scrappy Saturday and now okay so looking at my lace and then I was kind of wondering if I want to put one of these on the lace. I don't know. Maybe about right here to about right here. Ah, got it. It was trying not to get cut. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> I've had enough technology in the next or in the last two days to last me for a lifetime. <laughs> Just like, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, that's not quite big enough, but luckily I have my have all my scraps over here. Maybe I'll do like one of these. Yeah, maybe I might have to chop it a little bit. I don't know. 
Just gonna see, see what we do. Oh my goodness, excuse me, my nose is going. Of course the heater's going, you know, you know, that's how it goes. Okay. I'm thinking, um, maybe a word would go kind of nice on this. Like that. And then, um, this is my a jewel design. I'm actually wondering about got pretty. What else do we have? Blissful. That one goes the wrong way. Blissful would be nice on there. Because there's hope, joy, and happiness. Which all make one kind of blissful. Yeah, that goes, that goes nicely on there. But it covers up the whole thing, so I'm going to chop it a little bit. Make it a little skinnier. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm real fast. Just going to, um, over to the side, I'm just going to put this all together. The lace, the blue, and then the cream colored. Let's just do a quick little so down the middle. We like to call it sewing at arm's length. <laughs> Everything here, it's so dry in Montana that everything is absolutely full of electricity. And so like trying to get rid of a thread on your hand is an all day process. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of crazy. And my hair, it like flies around and tickles my face. It's like, oh my gosh. But it's just how it is here in the winter. Well, pretty much all year round it's pretty dry, but the winter especially. Okay, so that's there. Oh, I should have had that sideways. What was I doing? Because I need to put this on there. Alrighty then. That little pocket's done, and I am happy with that. You know, we made ourselves a f these couple of tags. One of those would actually go nicely in there. You know, like that. I'm not gonna leave that in there because I'm not positive. We won't have something I like better, but we have one pocket done. I kind of wanted to do one a side tuck type of one too. So maybe we'll see if we can't figure that out. Um, what, eh, once again, I struggle kind of with these papers a little bit because they have such big images on them, but um, this one could be one of the pockets. This is I think this is a little bit, it's a bit wide. Okay, I think I might take it off right down that and see how we like that. is 
I'm going to make it like seven and a half, I think. This way. Oh, I'm excited to be working on this, though. This is fun. Okay, so then... Then... Then what? Okay, I'm thinking I might like to make it side tuck this way. And I was thinking I'd kind of like to put some more pockets on it. So that's actually a good width. It's a pretty good height. Where's my pencil? I think I just need to leave it over here, don't I? Instead of keep bending backwards. Okay. That could be a good tag too. Um, do I want it this way or do I want it this way? I kind of like it that way. Okay, so I'm going to go kind of middle of the road here. And then I'm going to put one at the top of this one. So we have that and that. And then I'd like a little one to go across here. Okay, so maybe we have in here, oh, maybe we have, I'm looking over at the page that's standing up, just looking for like, that, like these. You know, that one would be pretty. Well, any of them would. But I think I'm going to go with this one. I don't know why I don't just chop it and then cut it out be easier but see what we think I mean those little pieces could be, I'm gonna keep for for clusters too because look at how pretty they are the shape of a tag but I could leave it open on that side and stick something in there but I like how that looks okay we're doing pretty good for really not having a plan other than showing you the pages <laughs> all right so now question is would I like these to be rounded a little bit. I think so. They're really, they feel, oops, they feel a bit, um, I don't know, sharp or something. And we can do these. Like that. And of course, this one looks like a tag, so, okay. I'm so loving this paper. It's so pretty. Okay. Then this one. 
We need lots of tags and things to go in. I mean, there is quite a bit of ephemera in the in the um, paper pack, but I like to make my own too, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna put that. Am I gonna put that like that? Or I think I'll give it a little edge. I think I'll go right along like that. Okay, and then and then we'll put that kind of give that an edge too, like that. Okay, glueage. We need glueage. I'm gonna put this one on here first. And just go down the three sides. Like so. Okay. And this. Okay, so then that will go like, like this on a page. Okay, might have to ink these a bit or something, which is fine. Okay, so anything we want to do with that. I, I feel like I'd like a word right there too. My husband's on the phone, I wonder if got more stuff to talk to my son about. That's kind of cool right there, isn't it? And we still have, you know, I could not, well, I'd have to glue that down. I do like that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I knew I'd have a, something I could do with these little pieces. <laughs> oh, goodness, guys. I feel like I need a nap after all my technical challenges this morning. Oh, man. The last thing I wanted to do, though, was go back to that store. But... From now on with my stuff, I'm just going to ask my son because, you know, even though a store is supposed to have the answers, <laughs> ours doesn't, apparently. Okay. So maybe a little word right there. How about... Um, see if I can find them. I wonder if there's a little phrase in this Tim Holtz clipping sticker book. Um, that is, ooh, by the light of the moon. I like that. Yes. I think that's sticky enough. Now, do I want it? Yeah, I think I want it kind of centered. Okay, yes, I like that. Okay. Ooh, it's it feels it feels a bit flat for me, but I think once we get tags in with maybe some, you know, fluff on the top or something, I think it will it will be good. Okay, so we have a pocket there, pocket there, and then we'll have a pocket here. Number two done. How are we doing time wise? Oh, 34? What? 
we are good we are good so about 20 after i need to look at my watch okay what do we want to do now um i'm having a moment of thinking do i want to sew this in i think i might let's look through it one more time just to make sure i don't want anything else in here sewn in you know because I hate to bulk it up with the pockets and then sew it in it just makes it a little more challenging I don't need any challenges today <laughs> oh man so um, I have a sack in there but I'm not going to put it in the signature so I think we're okay that way I think I'm going to call it good let's get that sewn in and then um, one of the things I wanted to do was I want to do a bit of a collage strip or something in blues so that I have something to cut up for journal cards and tags I got to get my binder clips oh, yeah I'm still stepping over Christmas stuff. That's driving me crazy. But I have to keep it out for my December daily, which I'll be honest, this year I am struggling to, um, not to think of things to say or anything like that. It's just finding the time. I just feel like I'm having trouble keeping up. Kind of lining things up here a bit. This one. Okay. Okay. So I'll talk through this just in case there's a newbie here. So I like to go Caddy wampus. I just feel like I get a better get a better fit that way with my with my clips. I can really get it down into that um, into that crevice, and then I kind of do it the old fashioned way, and I have a book that I poke into. Um, once again. Uh, Amy at Crafty Cat, um, she's Crafty Cat USA on Etsy. Her husband um, makes the book cradles where you can, um, you know, it will hold your book while you do this and it's kind of shaped in a V rather than holding it with your hand. Um, and so, yeah, he makes them on his 3D printer, I think. So I think that's kind of cool. Okay. Yep, we're good. All right, so then we shall just do a little sew in. Need my needle and need to figure out which thread I want maybe this one who knows I might put lace over it anyway and I go I go three lengths the, the height of the page and I'm going to add a couple more inches because I am going to do um, charms on this one. And I already know that. So I can just clip that and sew her in. And um, so I go in 
through the middle. Of course, if you want your strings on the outside, you can certainly do that. You just do everything the opposite of what I'm gonna do here. And then um, I go here. And I've noticed a lot of people then go all the way to the top. I don't, I go through the middle. Can't tell if I'm, no, nope, I don't think I'm getting the string. That's one thing, you don't wanna split your string. And then go in the top one, come back in. Ow. <laughs> Bleed all over your book. Oh, it's not like I don't sacrifice for my art. <laughs> okay, and so make sure everything's tight. Pull, pull, and then I go up and under and put the thread on the other side. Nice and tight, nice and tight. And then we shall just, this time, tie a double knot. Sometimes I do a bow if I'm not doing charms, but I'll have charms hang hangling, <laughs> dangling off the edge. I invented a word, hangling. <laughs> Are your charms hangling on the inside or the outside? <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now I feel like we can kind of start putting some things in and getting some ideas of what else we need. I know we need a lot more than what I've done here, but so, okay. Let me turn off my sewing machine there. Alrighty then, we have it put in. Everything is right side up. That's always important. <laughs> Didn't even check that. So, um, oh, a nice pocket there would be fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is going to need to go like, like that. So that's a good spot for it. And or, I mean, we should have a couple more here. Don't like it as well. Where's my other blank page? Oh, there's that one. Although you could write on that and it's it's not. Where's the other one? Here. Yep, don't like it there either. So here is where we're going to do it. So I think I want to give this a little distress around the edges. over to the side so that whatever's here can hang over. Okay, I'm going for it. We're putting it in. Oops. Gosh, Gail. Yeah, it was a good thing I slept like a rock last night. Or I may not have been able to cope with it all today. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Yeah. I'll tell you, sticking myself with a pin is not the only pain for my art that I go through. <laughs> it definitely, definitely the, uh, the whole technical side of things. Oh, I love that. Okay, that's fun. And then I'm thinking, do we just want to put this there? 
Does that feel like a lot? It kind of feels like a lot to me. Let's let's see what the other blank ones. Yeah, that would be more, wouldn't it? Mm, no. Mm, no. Yeah, so those are the three. Okay. Well, I am. I'm going to put it there. Now, question is, do, would I like to... I think I'll put it on the three sides so something can be hanging out there, too. And I'd like to get the fabric flip and belly band on as well and just kind of have those things done done and in if you will I think this might need a little bling, too. Just kind of thought that as I was looking at it. Let's see what we might. I can hold that while I dig out my, my bling box. Mm. Okay. I just want, I think I want... Three really like. Yep. Stuck down pocket. Just cut that one off. I think I just want three right there. Yep. Hey, yay. I like that too. It's very fun. All right, now we can figure out our fabric flip and our belly band, which are right over here. Oh, I've got ruffles. I've got things. I love this that we made yesterday. I'm not sure that I did it properly, but <laughs> it turned out pretty good. Um, Yes, this, this. So, let's see. I mean, we could go right there. I kind of, I like it with the stitching around here. And then we can flip up and all of that can be written on. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. fabric tax getting a little unruly. Few little, few little threads. And then this little journal will be coming along. But, I mean, as I said, I have much more to, to make, I think, for this to be where I want it to be. Oh, my, that is pretty. Okay, I really like that with the stitching around. So that's great. Is that where we want this to? Or do we want to go to here? I actually kind of like that with the white. I might distress around it, but other than that, just because of the whole snow aspect, you know, just a titch of this along the edge. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see, it looks like if I put the fabric tack on the sewing, uh, the stitching line, that I should be fine. So, um, the digitals, you know, are slightly smaller than like the coffee dyed paper pages, so I'm gonna have to. So see we're gonna need a need a big journaling card for there. Oh, that's pretty though. I like it. Yay. I'm loving how this is starting to come together. I don't know really where I want ruffles yet or anything. So let's see. So let's see how much time we have. Oh, we have about nine minutes. You know what I'd like to do? Let's move all this for a quick sec. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get this, get this sack done. And you might remember I had this and I thought this would be pretty in it. So let's, let's do that. the tree for sure. I think we'll just tear this square out first. Oops. Okay, so then I'm gonna not have a lot of the bridge, but I think there's enough there to kind of, I really like that purple too. So I think I'm gonna go down this way. Like that, but I want the napkin not to just be square on there, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try and pull this over a bit that way. Maybe we can put something across the top. I don't know what yet, but. Um, I think I want Mod Podge. You can just ooh hoo the napkin on there too, but I just am kind of feeling, kind of feeling the Mod Podge right now, so. We'll just do it. to the edge without trying to get it onto my mat. It's tricky, isn't it? Yeah, this is a pretty quick little project for the end of our time together today. Works. 
Okay. Might need a little bit more here towards this little edge. So we'll just kind of lightly go over the top. I'm kind of wondering about one of those leftover strips of paper for on the edge of the up here. it in a bit. So I'm not sure what we're gonna watch on TV tonight, but have you guys seen The Prom on Netflix? It's got Meryl Streep in it, who is my favorite actress, so I'm thinking I need to check it out just for that. Um, so that was one thing I know on her. And then there's a bunch more on Disney we want to watch. So who knows? The mister might have his ideas of some shoot 'em up whatever. <laughs> it's a good thing I love the guy. Okay. So did that. Let's see. Hopefully we have time. We do. Let's see if um, one of these, one of these leftover. Do I have any leftover strips? I sure don't. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna look through my stuff and kind of see if I might have an embroidered ribbon that might go there. I think that's what I might try. Hang over here. Um, yeah, I think that's what I might try. Oh, and then what about from the mixed media kit? Mm, I don't really want to put on any of these because they're too lumpy. I think these have to go on things that can be taken out, you know. So I will look for that. And I will um, go through my digital papers and see what I have that we could collage with um, and, and make some collage paper to go in this to be cut up. So maybe that's next video. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, guys. Well, Oh, except it's Mixed Media Monday, isn't it? Because this is Sunday. I don't know. I don't know. That's down the... We're going to definitely do that, make a big collage sheet. Um, I think I'll just do a big one because it's going to be cut up right away rather than do it in my new collage book. Um, but I think we'll do that and finish this up on maybe on a different one. Um because I need to think of what we're going to do for Mixed Media Monday. Yeah, I, I need to finish these. Get some little embellishments on them. But see when you, um, see when you just feed them through your sewing machine, how they're just all kind of hooked together. And then all you have to do is clip them off and they're good to go. They're on, they're on their own little selves. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. It's going to be a surprise as much to me as to you. <laughs> so I hope you all have a good evening. Thank you for watching and, um, have a grateful day. We'll see you next time. Bye everybody.